Hi guys, so uh, we are playing a game that I bought recently. It's called The Novelist. Um, I figured I'd go out on a whim and buy it and see how it is. Because it looks like it's cool and it went on sale. So let's play. See what it's about. Just want to make sure it's recording both. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see, story. So, stealth is basically the Kaplans will be able to see you, so stay out of sight. And story is the Kaplans won't be able to see you, so explore freely. Let's do story. Um, let's do a tutorial, because I'm not sure how to play this. The novelist. Sorry if there's any interruptions, too, or noises in the background. Knock, knock. I thought we were moving here. This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. Um, let's see. Hold on, I have to move the screen up so I can see properly. Hold on. This will be easier if I do this. So I can see what I actually am doing. So we're basically like a entity or something. So it shows us how to move and look around. Let's see. Look at the letter on the dining room table. Read it by pressing space. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Kaplan. Welcome to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is a this is one of our most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have booked you through August 31st. Your security deposit is cleared, and our cle cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town. If you'd like to eat dinner out, there are quite a few restaurants on Meriden Avenue, just off of Fairview. If you have any questions, or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call. Pete Fuller, Hanging, Hanger, Henniger Rentals, Sydney Buff, Sydney Bluffs, or Oregon? I'm not sure. Look at the life fiction press. You could possess any life fiction in the, in the house by looking at it in pressing space. You can even jump from one life fiction to another. Use position to reach the office upstairs. Okay. So we have to somehow get into the office. This is going to be tricky. Um, there's the bathroom. The kitchen. No, don't close on me. To the office. Use possessions to reach the office upstairs. So confused. What am I doing wrong? I'm like going to every. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I didn't see. Six days later. He murders his family. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how we should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desire a different outcome. It's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn how the desires of more than one character, you can uncover a 
compromises that help the family. Okay, let's see. Writer's block. Okay. After a week at the house. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Possess lights. Too bad we can't possess everything else. Dan's drunk was on the desk. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help, or a long drive, or a drink. Don't drink, buddy. Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. Now, like that, you know it's troubling him. You should search the house for him to discover more about his dilemma. Okay. Cars. I think this is the boys. This is the child's room. Yep. Let's go to their bedroom. Dan and up. Oh, when you look at a character, you can rest space to see what they're thinking about. This doesn't work. The clatter on Dan's head indicates that he's remember remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn more about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. How to make sure no one hears your bullies, Tommy. Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely. Follow the sounds to locate different moments that are in, on his mind. When you find a specific moment, press space to uncover more about what's troubling Dan in this chapter. You can exit Dan's memory whenever you wish and can return to it any time by approaching him from behind and pressing space. Okay. Do you think coming here will help? It has to. Do you think coming here will help? It has to. I think... That's only memory so far? Do you think coming here will help? Oh, okay. Dan, we're back! Having fun today? Uh-huh. Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for the, their clues. Discover what's on their minds and explore their memories. If you learn what, what all the characters want, you can earn additional opportunities to influence their story. Okay. Here's something. Ideas. Alice listens in on the phone call. 
problem. Rune sympathy for Alice is solvable? Probably not. Too cheap and easy. Seen at the lake? Alice seems them sees them there. Could de de definitely work. When the answer is Scott, Alice sees innocent. Sarah sees who Scott really is. Yeah, I think that works. I'm fast. You can always press tab to see your progress and find out what you need to do to move forward. You can press escape to view a help screen or adjust the options like your screen size, mouse sensitivity, volume, voiceover sound, and more. Uh, hold on. Let me just go one more time. Let's see. Guess there's no normal. I just want to lower the volume a bit more. So we can hear the voices more. Mr. and Miss Kaplan, I hope this reaches you before you leave for the summer. I knew we went over this in my office, but I think Tommy's a wonderful child. I'll feel better putting my recommendation in writing. Children develop at different speeds, and Tommy shows no sign of a serious learning disorder, so the important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercise each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encouragement when he succeeds, as self-confidence is critical at this age. If he fails to make progress with the exercises I've included, you may want to take him to the local pediatrician for further recommendation. I hope this is some of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Miss McMillan. Take this out, Mommy. Oh, nicely done. Oh, I thought, let's see, we have to look around, oh. Aw. Hey. Hey, John. That's Tommy's. New day. I can write my way back into this thing. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? Yeah, I found all the all of the moments in this character's memory. You can come back and re-examine them anytime. You can explore other characters' memories. Uh, you discovered enough about this character to find out how they want to resolve this chapter. Read their thoughts to learn how you can help them. Tommy wrote into town. Okay, so let's go to one of the other people as we try to find different things.
I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it, I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. Mm. So I guess they're moving here? I am not sure. Sounds like it. Is there any other memories that we can look in on for the character? I think the only memory right now is right there. Still make this work. No distractions here, just us so much time to paint. I think we just... Hey, Tommy. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. Let's see. Me and Daddy can play racing something. Choose this character's outcome, find the object in blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you like, discover what other characters want to do. Uh, character decides your objects can be viewed by pressing tab. Oh, Race and Raj. How much, you? Let's go get the object. I think it was in his room. Hey, Dad. Hey, Tom. Selecting Race and Raj will choose how many so a solution for this chapter. Dan and Linda will be disappointed. However, if you discover Dan or Linda's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. Just to continue playing. Either choose the time set can finish the chapter. Or can they be disabled via options. Um, let's see what they want. So we can try to come to a compromise, I guess. Where's my notebook? I know I had something good. Find his notebook. Writer's block. No, you just read that. Writer's block. Okay, let's try to find his journal thing book. Barb, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. 
There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today, and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. Ah, uh, okay. Let's find his... Your progress if saves the automatic leak. Quit the game at any time, any progress... Yeah. Okay, let's find his... Oh. Uh, we already read that. I'm trying to find his... Select in the notebook will choose Dan's resolution for this chapter. Tomei will be disappointed. Um, if you find the desired outcome. Uh, let's try... Let's go to back to Linda quick, because I want to try and get a compromise with them all. Daddy said he'd be my buddy here. Let's see, is there any more memories before... We have that one. Go to the bedroom. Okay. Let's try and find Linda. Hey, bud. So wrapped up in his book. So much to pen. Oh, we have that. Um, is there no other compromise? Other thing? Because I think I'll choose Tommy's. Well, no. I don't know. Let's go get the notebook. <laughs> oh, wait. It's such a crazy thought, the three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a raccoon problem or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got set up today. I felt a buzz right away. So much time to work. I haven't had a space like this in forever, probably since I left the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. Okay. Read Linda's thoughts. Oh, wait, no. Hey, Daddy. Hey, bud. We could have a bottle of wine and hang out like we used to. What if I. Now, is there any more? I just want to check if there's any new memories. Seems like there's not a lot of the time. Uh, I think that's it, I mean. Hmm. Does that... I think that's... Do the game. Okay, 
can decide. The Kaplans are asleep. Explore the house for clues about its past, then whisper your decision to Dan. What are we like, a paranormal spirit? By learning the desires of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Tab. I'm pressing tab, it's not doing anything. Oh, explore the house, then whisper. Uh, so, notebook and a bottle of wine. Let's try and find a mutual compromise if it's possible because I don't want them to drink. From the desk of Harlow, Harlow, Har Harold Baxter, January 6, 1948. Standing in the kitchen, drinking coffee and admiring the view. I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this every morning? That appears to be the great question of 451 Timberland Road. I slept very well last night. It's a good thing that previous owners left the house unfurnished. It was just about as quiet as anywhere I'd ever been. The only sounds today are, fr are the ocean and a few birds. After I finished breakfast, I planned to begin my inspection. Later. I was inspecting the upstairs walkway to make sure the railing was dirty when I saw something odd downstairs. I'm not certain I could describe what it was, and I already talked to myself self halfway out of thinking it was anything at all. It's probably just a trick of the light coming through the big windows. Okay, let's go downstairs afterwards. Try to find more information. Like, is she pregnant? Am I pregnant? Okay, he's asleep too. I just want to check before I go downstairs. I was already in there. So they said something by the big windows in the From the desk of, uh, desk of Harold Baxter, January 15th, 1948. Mr. Lowry, Lowry finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect this house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. Property like this simply doesn't change hands every year to without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I was cleaning out old files and this house kept coming up. It's changed owners seven times in the last 13 years. I began digging, and not a single one of the sales was financially motivated. People just seemed to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else. Which doesn't add up in my mind. The view is striking, the isolation and privacy alone make it a great property. The remoteness can't be an issue, certainly no one can, who, who can afford this kind of home needs to work for money. It's a mystery and that's why I'm here. Okay, so they said from the banister they saw something? 
Maybe, maybe not. Um, okay, I don't see anything. So I'm going upstairs and whispering to Dan. Let's just see one more time. Uh, I saw someone out downstairs. I was trying to see what it was. Or so. I don't know if we can see it from here. That's where it ends. So he was like along the walkway here. see anything so let's oh the moon's pretty let's whisper to Dan oh I won Dan can stop thinking about how important it was to start the summer off with on a good foot with Tommy who was ecstatic when Dan knocked off early and set up game of racing Roger on the coffee table. They laughed and played for two hours. Dan made sure to let Tommy win most of the time as happy to start my summer. Dan can get past his writer's block. He laid awake for three nights trying to think of a way out of his jam, but he couldn't come up with one. He had to stay on schedule so he forced himself to write a scene just to keep moving. He hated each word as he typed, but he had no choice. Linda was upset that Dan wouldn't take a single night off so they could catch up on things and spend time together. She spent the evening alone on the couch drinking the bottle of wine herself. She spent the next morning trying to deal with the hangover. God, is she a, dr a alcohol addict? I'm just kidding. Okay. The show. Linda got a letter in the... Why does he keep doing that? Okay, does it tell us anything? Oh, look. Let's see here. Miss Kaplan, we're thrilled to be exhibiting your work Thursday. I know this all came together a little last minute, but our secretary is only part-time. She sometimes gets behind. Sent along some forms and samples for the ad we plan to run in this week's paper. That's probably the last thing you want to worry about right now, but what's the point of putting it on a show if no one knows about it? Anywho, oh wait, anyhow, I know this is all a bit hectic, but we might be small, but... While we might be small, we have a lot of heart, and we're very excited about your show, Nicole Adams, Westgate, Westlake Gallery. Aww. Have fun today? Uh, Paul called again. Are you going to call him back? Lynn. Who's Paul? Uh oh, is she cheating? Gonna let daddy play with the cool car tonight. Right down there. Cool, can we go? Right down there. Right 
gonna change if he doesn't even try. I could pick the, the one with. I don't know yet, honey. What is it, mommy? I don't know yet, honey. I think there's another. Here another one. Oh, it's probably upstairs. I've barely had any journal entries since we arrived, and I'm writing this one with a god awful headache. Not a good track record so far, Linda. I tried to get Dan to take a night off last night, but he said he just didn't have the time. So I opened that bottle of wine myself after Tommy got to bed and somehow finished the whole thing. I knew I should have eaten something and now I'm paying for it. Alright, time to see if my stomach's settled enough to figure out where we put the aspirin. It's going to take a while to get used to where everything is in this place. I've barely had any. The snow for one adventure, signed Daddy. Oh, the snake. The snow good for one adventure. Sign Daddy. Okay, let's go back down to Tommy. Take my bucket to the beach with Daddy. Okay. Let's find out what huh. the man wants. The Literary Register, May edition, inside. The books of summer, Adam Squ Squires, The Interview, and Marker's Top Small Run Publishers. It just never stops. Every time I plot something I think will hold together, it falls to pieces. This thing was supposed to be done months ago, but the further I get, the harder it is to make it all work. Nothing's ever as simple as it seems at first. I'll think about a problem for days, finally come up with a fix, and then realize it breaks something somewhere else. I can barely hold all the threads together. Sometimes this thing just feels too big for me and I want to burn it and walk away. But what else would I do? And the deadlines don't help either. I can't think harder or faster. This stuff comes when it comes. And getting stressed out about it just makes it harder to get the words down. Like right now, I'm writing about the thing instead of working on the thing. Damn it, Dan, get to work. I just want to see if there's another memory. Writer's block turned into writer's fog or something like that. I never found my notebook. I guess it's just gone. Did we lose it in the move? Leave it at home? I ended up having Alice find out about Scott and Sarah by overhearing a phone call. That's awful. 
Having Alice eavesdrop on them completely kills the sympathy I've been trying to build for her. What a junk solution. But I had to get something down and move on. I guess that was it. Hopefully I can come back and fix it later. Friday, Rap Draft, Saturday, Pam Day, Sunday, Dialogue Pass, Fix Alice. Selectins have a will choose Dan's resolution for the chapter. Learn how many was appointed. Have we rediscovered? Um, let's try and see if there's more resolutions for their things. Making sure it's recording still. Okay. It's night time again. Let's see. From the desk of Harlow, uh, January 17th, 1948. I'm now certain there's something strange with the light here. It must be those windows. I was re reviewing old deeds in the living area and saw some sort of flash of light out of the corner of my eye. I would assume the elevation would put the ocean too far away for the sun to reflect off the wa off a wave, but perhaps not. We looked, but there was nothing except strange shimmer, like heat above the asphalt of a hot road. It dissipated almost immediately. Perhaps some concentration of the light caused it. But on to work. I begin cataloging possible options for the property. I owe Mr. Lowry a report by the 24th. Hmm. Grown-up job, huh? Maybe he doesn't want a grown-up job. Let's see. Is there anything else? January 19th, 1948. I failed to lock my activities yesterday. It's nothing of note occurred. There have been no tricks of the light for two days, and I've grown certain that the ones I saw were reflections from the ocean and probably reaching the house. I've been able to focus on the task and at hand and am simply pleased with the condition of the property. I've also reached a decision on how to proceed. It came to me this morning as I stood in the conservatory, admiring the beauty of the forest. I hadn't begun my work yet. I was thinking of nothing in particular. When an idea came to my head, 
fully formed. I was surprised that it appeared with such clarity. It was not unheard of for the mind of, to ponder a question in the subconscious. As for the idea, it is quite simple. I will buy the house myself. Let's click the bucket. Nothing happened. Oh. I have to go back upstairs. I forgot about that. get past the thought that missing yet another deadline would drive one more nail to the co career's coffin, so he holed up in, in his office and wrote all weekend. He found a rhythm and stayed with it as long as he could, eating meals at his desk instead of with his family. The non-stop of clocking of the typewriter filled the house. Though he didn't have enough time to take Tommy to the beach for the day, Dan shifted his schedule to free up an hour and a half for a quick trip. The night before, he snuck down to the beach and put a conch cell shell where Tommy wouldn't miss it. Though Tommy wanted to stay at the beach for long, the beach longer you're still happy with this prize. Ah, Well, at least they can find a compromise. With that part, I think. Uh, Linda had to do the promotional write up herself. She was a visual thinker, not a writer. The final product didn't attract much interest in the local paper. The show came and went without much notice, and Linda couldn't stop wondering if having a better turnout would have opened more doors for her painting career. Aw. Feel bad now. Catching, catching up. Okay, let's see here. Farm. Sorry it's been so long since I've written. Things have been hectic around here, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get things back on track. I don't really want Oops. to get into it, but we're getting pulled in a lot of different directions right now. Nothing hurtful, just competing priorities, I guess. Although those can get worse and worse over time. I mean, Dan and I, before we got up here, you know we'd started to drift. Look at that. I said I didn't want to get into it, and I did anyway. Enough about me. Please tell me you're doing well, and I hope this doesn't stress you out too much. I promise to write a happier letter soon. Yours always, Linda. Mr. and Miss Kaplan, I want to stress that's perfectly normal for some children to fall behind in a specific area. Tommy may be struggling with reading comprehension, but his verbal and visual abilities are excellent. That said, he won't catch up on his own. You will need support from both of you. I recommend that you do, do the attach exercises with Tommy every weekday morning for one to two hours. He'll be unable to focus ex exclusively on these for two straight hours, so you'll need to take intermittent break. And Intermittent breaks, but use your judgment and stay with it as long as you can feel he could stay engaged. I suggest that you do your sessions in the morning before he tires himself out and becomes distracted. Feel confident that with a supportive environment and dedicated exercise, he will catch up to the other children in his class. Please be in touch if you have any questions. Dr. Donald Samuels.
We barely talked yesterday. Wow, you're right. I guess we've just been so busy. Let's find another memory. Just got back from the show, if you can even call it that. I didn't sell a single piece, which isn't a surprise given the turnout. I know Dan had other things on his mind, but I told him how important it was to me. It was such a good opportunity to figure out what I want to do when we get back home, too. But I can't make up my mind based on such a half-hearted exhibit. Was that Dan's way of telling me he's not ready for me to go back? I don't want to read too much into it, at least not so soon, but it's really hard not to. I think we found all of them. Dan and I had a good conversation today. Well, we'll have to wait and see if it was actually good, but I feel like I got my point across about family time. We've been getting a little frayed on the little things lately, and it reminded me of something Anne said one time. Love is a behavior, not an emotion. If something's important to you, you show it with your actions. We weren't doing so well with that before we got here. I told Dan my idea. I want us all to eat together at 7 every night, with family time after that. Tommy's wiped out by 8.30, so we'd get a solid hour and a half as a family, and then Dan and I could have the rest of the night to ourselves. And I think seven's a reasonable request. The rest of the working world knocks off at five, right? It doesn't really matter what we do with the time, just that we spend it together. It's easy to make excuses when you've got a lot going on, which is why patterns help. I hope he feels the same way. Did it. Got it to Paul on Monday and just about dropped on the spot. Barely slept Sunday night, but damn it, I got it in. Abject terror is a pretty strong motivator. Linda understood, I guess. She had her own deadline, so at least she could identify, but in the end it was still a choice and she didn't let me off the hook. Can't blame her, really. Sometimes you just have to make tough calls. That's why they're called tough calls. Thank you. I think one is upstairs. Sounds like it is. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. I, 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 I just... I just... I just... Hey. See what Tommy's doing if he's not sleeping yet. Phew. Will it make me smarter? Honey, listen to me. You are smart.
looking good? We barely talked yesterday. You send us just the for the chapter data. Well, I want them to get be able to eat every night. I feel like it's better for them. I like how it's all black and white when they're in bed. It's a really cool touch. Uh, January second, nineteen forty eight. Final entry before I depart. The bank will no doubt prevent me from purchasing the house due to the inherent conflict of interest. But given its history of frequent ownership changes, I feel confident to the mortgage uh, department will be glad to have the property off of their hands. I believe I could set up a trust, or perhaps a shell company, and convince Mr. Lowry that we must part with the property for less than the market value. I feel certain I could appeal to his conservative nature. I believe it will prove to be a shrewd investment as a rental property, and I think I now understand why people do not stay for extended periods. I find myself unable to describe the feeling precisely, but in my time here I found my mind drifting in strange ways, as if it was not always my own. But their natural beauty is undeniable. Perhaps shorter visits are wiser use of the property. Yes, I believe that is a fine idea indeed. Let's see, anything? Let's go upstairs. You're not dumb. We have Claire Bradford, September 4th, 1961. We're here, so why don't I feel more excited? This was supposed to be fun, just Roger and me. Mom and Dad think we're with Ben and Lori, but of course that was just a trick. Nope, just Roger and me in this big house by the ocean for the whole week. I'm sad to see that there's no piano here, but I suppose a week without practice won't do me too much harm. Guess maybe being down alone with Roger that long is what's making me feel nervous. Though why should that be? He's my fiancé after all. I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with him. I shouldn't be worried about spending the week with him. Should I? Every second ha- every- everyone has second thoughts before they get married. Right? Linda was glad when Dan committed to family dinners each night, and she made sure to give Tommy extra helpings in the help in the morning. Being able to count on quality family time every night and knowing she and Dan would have dedicated time together gave the relationship a sense of stability to help each other face the challenges. Tommy didn't understand why his father, a writer, wouldn't help him with his reading lessons. Linda devoted herself to Tommy's morning practice, but only having one parent there send a message that Tommy couldn't forget. The sound of Dan's typewriter drifting down to the den was a constant reminder of Dan's priorities. Aww. Dan couldn't figure out a way to please everyone and still make room for time and focus. He needed to write. He was able to compromise and fit in one unbroken session each day. For the rest of the day, he worked around his family commitments and tried to make the most of the shorter sessions. The lack of focus came through in his work. Probably messed that whole thing up. And that's how the Kaplan's first month at the house on the cliff came to an end. Oh no, were they murdered? Did they murder each other? 
Dan sent what he had to so far to Paul. It went badly. Dan knew that knew the work wasn't very good, and Paul echoed that judgment. He promised to keep the news from Grover Field for the time being, and but told Dan that without a major program, crap. Guess we could probably read it. A few nights later, Dan and Linda got a babysitter and went out for a date, but they both felt like they were going through the motions and could barely carry a conversation. They knew their first month at the house hadn't gone well, that the trip was not saving their marriage as they'd hoped. What could have been a pleasant night out was an awkward and troubled one instead. The next day, Dan made good on the promise to take Tommy into the woods and look for the arrowheads, so they drove to the site of the Seuss Law Settlement got to work. Dan and Tommy had fun digging around in the dirt, getting messy and looking for artifacts. He found a handful of arrowheads, which Tommy probably showed his mother when they got home. They still had two more months on the coast, and the story is just beginning. Inheritance. Okay, guys, I'm back. I was just eating. Don't mind if you hear my dogs outside. They're always starting with each other. Okay, let's see. Aw, guess he made a new friend. Whether your child enjoys arts and crafts, swimming, sports, recreation, singing, or exploring, it's sure to have a ball at Camp Emerald Lake. We know that every family has unique needs and we strive to be as flexible as possible. Daily, weekly, and monthly packages are available in both sleepover and pickup option options. Our lifeguards are fully certified and every counselor is trained in the cutting edge cardio cardiopulmonary resuscitation technique. Our goal is to find bar priority safety. The enclosed for sure contains information on all the exciting opportunities at Camp, Camp Emerald Lake. We sure you'll find many things to like, and we hope to see your child soon. Sorry if I sound all nasal and stuff. That's usually how I get when I am drinking something, or just during the day. Dinner this week. Sunday, crack pot, pork chops, and three bean salad. Monday, Tommy's taco night and beers for us. Tuesday, stir fry steak and broccoli with rice. Wednesday, lentil soup. Two out for something heavier. Thursday, big CD and salad. Friday, spaghetti and meatballs. Mmm, that sounds so good. Saturday, uh, Josie, uh, Joss tuna. Casserole and salad. Here we go. Let's see. Ah. I called the co-op today. It isn't wildly expensive, but it sure doesn't fit into the budget. It was a bigger letdown than I thought, not being able to just sign up on the spot. It gets so lonely here sometimes. And I think Tommy's starting to feel it, too. We try to play with him every day, and the woods here are pretty magical for someone his age. But kids need to be around other kids sometimes. He can only play with his cars so often. Sometimes I wish there were actual neighbors here. The only friend he's made is Davy, but seeing them at the park once in a while isn't the same as having someone to pal around with every day. It's summer vacation, and he's pretty much all alone. Aww. Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. Let's see other memories. I think one's upstairs, it sounds like it is.
We just put Tommy down and then we watched Alfred Hitchcock present. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Now we have to go back up the stairs. And my dog's whining to come inside. My dog was staring at my robe like, can I play with this? And now she's gonna hit her balls everywhere. There she goes. Okay, let's try and listen to the memory again. We just put Tommy down and then we watched Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It was the one where the guy thinks a snake is on his stomach under the sheets and they spend the whole episode trying to figure out if he's right or not. Dan hates snakes, so we were both holding each other, scared to death. It was great to have a normal evening again. We've been sticking to the seven o'clock rule and I can tell it's making a difference. We've started planning our days around making sure to be there, and we even have a new tradition. When we sit down, we each tell the family the best thing that happened to us that day. It's a small thing, but sometimes the small things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's true. I feel like everybody's family should sit down for dinner together, but usually schedules are weird, especially with work. Some people work overnight and stuff, so I don't blame them. Oh, um, I think we can exit the memory now. There's some gear in my painting painter bag and take it up to the co-op. Oh, okay. Well, let's see everybody's wants. Dan, I hope you're... Dan, I hope you're doing well. I got this address from your father. I hope it's correct. I'll get to I'll get to the point. When your cousin Richard passed away last year, we discovered that his pipe business had done very well. He was unwealthy, but he was very comfortable. At the execution wait. Execution? Oh, at the execution of his will, we were somewhat surprised to find that he wished to distribute his estate among all living blood relatives. He reserved the lion's share for his immediate family. As I'm sure you'll understand, but there is a portion allotted to you as well. Plus is a check for the full amount. Just you will honor his memory by putting it to good use. Uncle Wayne. Ah. It's impossible to get into a rhythm right now. This place was supposed to create some peace and quiet, but I almost never get two unbroken writing blocks in the same day. I know I'll never get exactly the schedule I want, that's just a fact of life. But that doesn't make it easier to get good work done with everything else going on. Just gotta figure out a way to push through. No other choice, really. This book isn't going to write itself. No. Finish my book in December. I... Don't joke like that. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you know. Now, where is Dan? I called the co op today. It is. We already read that. I already played with it. What about your rocket? I already played with it. Stairs for that.
Hi, Mom. Hey, honey. I want him to go to the camp. Because I feel bad that he wouldn't be able to go. Night befalls the house again. Let's explore the house first and then I'll select the painter bag. Yes. The diary of Claire Bradford, September 5th, 1961. Maybe getting my thoughts down on paper will make it help me make a list. That's what mom always taught me. So dear diary, here are all the wonderful things about Roger. He's very handsome. He'll soon be working as a lawyer <clears throat> at his father's firm, though the job is no gift. He worked so hard in college. He might be the only person on earth who loves music as much as me, especially loves the songs I write him. His family has money, which of course shouldn't matter, but it's nice to feel secure. Who wouldn't want to marry someone like that? September 6, 1961. I don't know why, but I feel like I can really get my thoughts together here. That's why the entry isn't going to be very fun. But fair is fair. I always wait, I've already waited today, and there's no use delaying it longer. Here are the not so wonderful things about Roger. He can be so self absorbed, especially when he's working on something. No one will ever accuse him of getting a great, having a great sense of humor. He's, very, he's so very predictable. Sometimes this makes me feel secure. Other times I just feel so bored. I wonder if maybe he spends too much time chasing his father and not be enough being his own man. There. Now I feel rotten. I do love him very much. Everyone has their flaws. And I thought one of the dogs was in my room. <laughs> uh, everyone has their flaws. Are his so bad? Why is she so bad? Tommy didn't realize at first that spending a week at camp actually meant his parents meant his parents loved him, but Tuesday was elated. He made new friends, flying his kite, swimming with other children at his age. His spirits improved almost overnight, and when he connected his new adventures with, uh, I'll just let it play out, because I can't read it that fast.
Okay, um, I think actually I'm gonna leave it here since there, there might be a lot of chapters, I'm not sure, but I don't wanna go over the, my video's um, length ability. So we'll stop for here. Hey, what you doing? And I hope you liked this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, uh, smash the like bug button and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you uh, have a good day. Bye.